So let's solve this problem. So to write the standard equation of an ellipse with this given foci and the length of the major axis. So first, we need to plot the graph of this ellipse. So in a plane, and this is positive y, positive x, the negative y, and the negative x. Then from the given coordinates of the foci, so this is x and y. So x is negative 3, so we have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Then y is positive 5, so positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, then positive 5. Then you connect. So this is now the point of the focus. Then the other coordinate of the focus, so x is positive 7. So positive 1, positive 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then y is positive 5. Then you connect. And this is now the other point of the focus. Then observe. Since the position of the focus is in horizontal form, so therefore... This ellipse is a horizontal ellipse. And formula for the horizontal ellipse. So we have x minus h quantity to the power 2 then over a squared then plus y minus k quantity to the power 2 then over b squared then equals 1. So to write now the standard equation for this ellipse, so we need the four values, the h, the k, a, and b. Then since h and k from the center of the ellipse, but since from this problem there is no given center, so therefore we need to locate first the center of this ellipse and the center is the midpoint of the foci. So from this foci, we need to locate the center and we're going to use the counting method. So in counting, you jump. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have 10. Then divide this one by 2 to locate the center. So 10 divided by 2. So this is equal to 5. Then we need to count 5. So again, you jump. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is now the position of the center. And this is positive 2 for x. Then we need to align to the focus. So this is now the point of the center. And from this point of the center, we need to find the coordinates. So the coordinate of the center, so we have x. x is positive 2 and y is positive 5. So the coordinate of the center is 2 and 5. So therefore for h, so this is h and k. So h is positive 2 and k is positive 5. Then to solve for a, so these are the different formulas to solve for a, b, and c. So since in the given, we have this, the length of the major axis, since half of the major axis is A, so therefore to solve for A, 
So we have this 14 divide by 2. So A is equal to 7. Then to solve for B, so formulas for B, so we have center and co-vertex. Since there is no given co-vertex, so therefore we cannot use this formula to solve for B. Then the other formula for B, so we have the minor axis divided by 2. Since there is no given minor axis, so therefore we cannot use this formula to solve for B. So in this case, to solve for B, we need to use C and C from the center to focus. So this is the center and this is the focus. So therefore, this value is for C. So C is equal to 5. So since we have now the values for A and C, so we can solve now for B. And formula for B, so we have the square root of A squared minus C squared. Then substitute now the values. So A is 7, so this is 7 squared minus C is 5, so this is 5 squared. Then to simplify, so 7 squared, this is 49, minus 5 squared is 25. So therefore, B equals the square root, so 49 minus 25, so this is 24, so B equals the square root of 24. So since we have now the four values, the H, the K, A, and B, so we can write now the standard equation of this ellipse using this formula. So substitute now all the values, so we have x minus h, h is positive 2, quantity to the power 2, then over a squared, a is 7, so this is 7 squared, then plus y minus k, and k is positive 5, quantity to the power 2, then over b squared and b, is square root of 24, then to the power 2 equals 1, and to simplify, so we have x minus 2 quantity to the power 2, then over, this 7 squared is 49, then plus y minus 5 quantity to the power 2, then over, so we can cancel now this radical, so over 24 equals 1. So this is now the standard equation for this ellipse.